Peppa Pig, would you like to be my friend? Peppa cannot wait to tell everyone her news. Mummy, Daddy, George! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Peppa. I'm so excited. Why is that, Peppa? I'm going to meet my new friend. A new friend? Yes. And who might this new friend be? I don't know. They're new, silly. <laughs> I'm going to show them Snowy Mountain, the beach, everything. Even Potato City! Pepper is excited to play with her new friend and explore all the brilliant places in her world. That's a good idea, Pepper. Yes, Daddy. It's going to be so much fun. So when is your new friend coming to play, Pepper? Very soon. I can't wait to play with them. Dinosaur! <sighs> It looks like Mr. Dinosaur wants to play with Peppa's new friend, too. <laughs> My friend Peppa Pig. A new friend has come to visit Peppa. How exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goody, you're here. Welcome. We're going to have a lovely time. You're here, you're here. We're going to have the best day ever. This is my daddy. Why don't we say hello to him? Hello, Pepper. I see you have a new friend. Mr. Potato! Do you like Mr. Potato? Pepper does. <laughs> What's the matter, George? Why are you crying? Dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosaur. What's that, George? You've lost Mr. Dinosaur? Don't worry. I'm sure it hasn't gone far. Could you have left it outside? George and Pepper need your help to find Mr. Dinosaur. He must be somewhere nearby. We will find it! We're good at finding things. Dinosaur. <coughs> I can see it. It's stuck in that tree next to the muddy puddle. Let's see if we can get it down. It seems that Mr Dinosaur is very high up in the tree. Perhaps they could use the help of someone taller. Daddy, Daddy! George's dinosaur is stuck in the tree, and we can't get it back. Stuck in the tree? <laughs> How did it ever get there? Let's take a look. Hmm. Perhaps instead of trying to reach it, it will be easier to make him come down to us. And how are we going to do that, Daddy? Dinosaur. Well, I'm a bit of an expert in these things. <laughs> as simple as that. It worked. Thank you, Daddy. I didn't know dinosaurs could climb trees. Dinosaur. <laughs> Good job. George got Mr. Dinosaur back and everyone is having a great time. Super Potato! He is the power of vegetables! <laughs> Have you been to Potato City? I really want to go. Mummy Pig? Have you seen my glasses? I can't find them anywhere. I don't think I have, Daddy Pig. Peppa, why don't you and your new friend look for Daddy Pig's glasses? They have to be somewhere around the house. Yes, yes, Mummy! We will find the glasses! Daddy, Daddy, we found them! We found the glasses! Have you? That's great, Pepper. Thank you. And thank you. 
You are a great friend to Peppa. Grandparents' house. This is my granny and grandpa's house. Grandpa is always in his garden and granny takes care of the chickens. This is Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Polly Parrot imitates everything you do. Why don't you try jumping or making a sound? Look, Polly, here's your food. It will give you energy to do more jumping and chirping. you, Peppa. Ah, I see you've brought a friend. Hello. Have you seen a chicken around here? Yes, Granny. She just left. Oh, my. That won't do at all. Peppa, can you and your friend help me find the missing chickens? I don't think they will have gone very far. Yes, yes, Granny. We will find them. It seems Granny's chickens have left their coop. Why don't you help her by bringing all of the chickens back? <laughs> that was the last one. All of the chickens are safe and sound now, thanks to you. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Peppa's friend. Hello, Grandpa. Peppa, I think we're going to get hungry while we wait for the vegetables to grow. Would you like to have a meal? Mm, yes, please. Splendid. Then why don't you go fetch some eggs from Granny Pig's coop and bring them to the kitchen? OK. Grandpa Pig wants you to get some eggs from the chicken coop and take them to the kitchen so he and Granny Pig can cook you a meal. First, let's go to the chicken coop. Hello, children. Hello, Granny. Have you come to check on the chickens? No, no, Granny. Grandpa has sent us to get eggs so we can cook a yummy meal. I see. Why don't you take them yourself? Check inside the little house. Chicken. Ah, I see you've got some eggs. Now, why don't you take them to the kitchen? I'll go ahead and wait for you there. Granny and Grandpa Pig are waiting for you in the kitchen. Better not make them wait too long. Ah, there you are. I hope you're hungry. I am. Are you hungry? We have delicious hard-boiled eggs for you two. Why don't you sit at the table? Enjoy your meal, everyone. It's very good. I'm glad you like it, Peppa. Ah, it's very good. I'm sorry, Polly. I don't think these would be good for you. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> Have arrived. But Grandpa, Granny, where is all the sand? Well, this is a rocky beach. So instead of sand, it's full of rocks. Oh. We wanted to build sand castles. What are we going to do? Don't worry. 
there are plenty of fun things to do on this rocky beach. If you look around, you will find pools of water between the rocks. It's fun to see what's in them. That's right. When the sea goes out, it always leaves behind something special in the rock pools. Lily, what kind of things are we going to find? Why don't you and your friend have a look in the rock pools and put what you find in the bucket? Take a look in the rock pools on the beach and show Granny and Grandpa Pig the things you find. It's a coin. Perhaps it once belonged to a pirate. Whoa! I love pirates. I found a crab in the rock pool. Crabs love to hide in rock pools. Be careful not to get your finger pinched. Oh, no. Don't be a naughty crab. <laughs> Did you know that if you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea? Really? Wow! Congratulations! You have found all the things in the rock pools and have learned a lot about rocky beaches. Ah, there you are. Peppa, we're taking you and your friends to Windy Castle. Windy Castle has a very tall tower. We'll get a view of the whole town. You'll see. Hooray! Dinosaur! No, George. I'm afraid there are no dinosaurs up there. Dinosaur! But you can take Mr. Dinosaur with you. Dinosaur! All right, then. Why don't you two go and wait for us in the car while we finish getting ready? Yes, Daddy. We'll go there right away. Let's go to the car. Daddy will drive us to Windy Castle. Windy Castle! You have arrived with Pepper and her family at Windy Castle. Wow! I've never seen such a big castle. Come on, let's go inside. The view from the top is amazing. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Looking through the telescope makes everything seem closer. Why don't you take some time to look around? Do you recognize this? It's our house. Oh, yes, Daddy. I can see my bedroom window from here. Looks like Granny and Grandpa's house. And look! Granny and Grandpa are outside. Do you think they can see us? <laughs> I don't think so, Peppa. We are very far away from them. Oh! Today would be a perfect day to go to the beach. Look, look! I can see Miss Rabbit in her hot air balloon. She must be waiting to take someone to Snowy Mountain. We found the museum! I love the museum. Dinosaur. <laughs> and there's Snowy Mountain. The view is fantastic. But it seems to be very cold up there. The playgroup. No one's there, though. Because it's not playgroup time. Potato City! Can we go, Mummy, please? Of course. Not now, though. We're enjoying Windy Castle today. Mummy! Daddy! Can we come back to Windy Castle soon? Of course, Peppa. I'm glad you had a good time looking through the telescope. I knew you would love it. Windy Castle is a lot of fun. Using the telescope from the top, 
you can spot many places, even some that are very far away. You seem to be having loads of fun together. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please! Snowy Mountain! Looks fun. Oh, we could ice skate. That's fun too. Do you know how to ski? Miss Rabbit will give us skis to go down the mountain. Oh, a snowman! I love snowmen. We should build one ourselves. Pepper wants to build a snowman. You will find all the parts you need in the snow. be good for you. Be careful. Don't go down the hill too fast. Have fun. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please. Whose tracks are these? If we follow them, we'll find out. to have a lovely picnic in the forest. <laughs> what a wonderful day to have a picnic in the forest. Come on, let's find a nice spot to sit down and have lunch. How about we go that way? This place seems about right, doesn't it? Can I have the basket, Daddy Pig? Oh, um, yes, of course. What's wrong, Daddy Pig? Your face has gone very red. I, um, I think I have left the picnic basket in the car. Oh, no. We will have to go and get it then. Perhaps you and Peppa could head back to the car and bring the basket. Of course, Mummy. We'll be back in no time. Daddy Pig has left the picnic basket in the car. They need you to go back and get it for them. Let's go back to the car and get the picnic basket. Here's the basket. It smells delicious. Thank you, you two. Let's all take a seat now. Oops. I guess I'm a bit hungry. 
Good job. You brought the picnic basket back. And now Peppa's family can enjoy a delicious lunch in the forest. This goes here, this goes there, and voila! <laughs> These sandwiches are delicious, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Why, thank you. How about you? Do you like them? But it seems there's only Daddy's sandwich left. Oh. Daddy, Daddy! We have to give them some food! Oh, all right. There you go, ducks. I'm full! Well, at least someone is. <laughs> oh, Daddy, you're always a bit full. <laughs> 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 what a lovely spot for camping! Ah, Peppa! I see you and your friend are already here. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Peppa's, Peppa's friend. friend. Hello, everybody. Children, children, now that we're here, you need to pitch your tents. And we need someone to collect sticks for the campfire. We'll do it, Madame Gazelle. We'll collect the sticks. Madame Gazelle has asked you to collect sticks so she can build a campfire. Follow Pepper and help her get enough sticks for the campfire. I need a few more sticks. Would you get them for me? Ah, oh, excellent job. Now, why don't you pitch your tent while I prepare the campfire? <laughs> Children, who wants to hear a song? Me! 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 me. me. Okay, then. Ooh, we're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. What's that? Why is the branch moving? Maybe the tree is saying hello to us. Hello, Mr. Tree. Please don't say hello, silly. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Tiddles the tortoise? What's he doing up the tree? We need to get him down. Dr. Hamster will be so worried that he's missing. Yes, but how do we do that? It's too high up. Let's get Madame Gazelle. She'll know what to do. Madame Gazelle will know what to do to get Tiddles the tortoise back down from the tree. Let's find her in the classroom. 
because the tortoise is stuck in the tree. Oh no, poor Tiddles. We need to do something. Hang on, Tiddles. We're going to get you down in no time. Oh, impossible. It's too high for me. Pepper, why don't you and your friend go and find me a ladder so I can climb up the tree and rescue Tiddles? There's a ladder right outside the playgroup. Help Pepper find the ladder so Madame Gazelle can use it to get Tiddles down. Let's go this way. Here it is. This is the ladder Madame Gazelle was talking about. You found it. Good job. Oh, here you are, Tiddles. Let's get you down, shall we? There you go, Tiddles. No more climbing today. Hooray! I'll call Dr. Hamster and tell her Tiddles is safe. Thank you all. You did a wonderful job. Now, let's make sure Tiddles doesn't climb up again. Tiddles? Gone again? Oh, Tiddles. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Now Tiddles is safe and everyone is having a great time. Welcome, welcome. Are you here to join me on the trip to the moon? Jump aboard the rocket train. Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. He knows a lot about the universe. Are we really going to the moon? No, Pepper. It's just pretend. That's right, Pepper. It's just a pretend moon. Now, all passengers, hold on tight to your seats. We're about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off! All right then, does anybody know what these things hanging from the ceiling are? Are they planets? Precisely. And do you know the name of the planets? Oh, um, not really. Oh, I know one, the Earth! Very good, Daddy Pig. This is the Earth, we also have Venus. Mars, Neptune. What's that? Ah, this is a satellite. Satellites fly around the world so we can have TVs and the internet. Really? But how do they do that? It's all magic. And we've reached the end. Please exit the rocket and continue to the next room where you'll see the moon. Welcome to the moon. Gravity on the moon is much weaker, so we can jump much higher. Pepper, you and your friend have been very busy, haven't you? We've heard you've been helping people around the town. Yes! My friend is very helpful. I see. Well, so are you, Pepper. And because you've been so good, we've decided to take you both to Potato City. I love Potato City! Oh, Potato City, here we come. Daddy Pig, didn't you get a bit dizzy last time you got on the potato rocket? Yes. Well, I'm sure it won't happen this time. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you never learn. Potato City is a magical place full of exciting things where Mr. Potato himself will teach you the importance of vegetables. Go to the car when you're ready, and we'll be on our way. Potato City! Potato City, the place to explore and have fun, and learn about the importance of vegetables. Hooray! Ah! Oh. We're finally here. It's 
It's bigger than I remembered. Hello and welcome to Potato City. Have you come to have fun? Yes, yes. Have you come to explore? Yes, yes. Have you come to learn about the importance of eating fruit and vegetables at least five times a day? Um, yes. Fantastic! Then you are going to have a lot of fun. Remember to visit the whole park. There are plenty of things to do and plenty of things to see. All right then, run along children, have fun. <laughs>